Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I am here with my week 18 and final week of the year NFL predictions. Now, as you know, every week I go over what I did the, the previous week. Um, however, uh, there is a, a, a snag in, the, in those plans for right now because as I am recording this, the Bills game has been suspended uh, due to the injury to uh, Bills safety, DeMar Hamlin, who collapsed on the field and needed CPR and was taken away by an ambulance. So I'm not sure if they're going to play that game as I'm recording this. I'm not sure if they're going to play the game um, as scheduled. Um, and if they do, I obviously won't know the result of the game. Um, if they do decide to go ahead and play it. So I was last week, my record was either 11 and four. If the game was not played at all, 12 and four, if the Bengals won the game, if the game was played and the Bengals won and 11 and five, if the game was played and the bills won, because I picked the Bengals to win. But we certainly, uh, you know, I'm certainly hoping for the best uh, for, uh, you know, recovery and uh, that everything is okay with um, DeMar Hamlin. Um, and, and I, you know, as the announcers and the people in the studio were saying during the game, that's really the overriding concern, not really the game itself. So uh, they, the teams went back to their locker rooms and they, uh, I suppose, were um, discussing amongst themselves, trying to find out, get a status on how DeMar Hamlin was and uh, deciding whether they wanted to go ahead and play the game uh, as scheduled on Monday night or whether it was going to be postponed to a different time. So, uh, so there you are. I was uh, 11 and four, 11 and five, or 12 and four. So depending on what happened with the, uh, with the Monday night game between the Bills and the Bengals. Uh, but we have a, we have another week coming up the last week of the year the final week of the NFL uh, schedule before we get to the playoffs and yes i will have my playoff predictions every week as soon as we know those um and as we get later into the playoff schedule and there are only a few games i will bring in guest um commentators who I personally happen to know, like my brother Jim and uh, my good friend Chris Dufour and uh, possibly some others. Uh, Dave Mazzini, a friend of mine, he may be there, um, but we'll see. Uh, uh, and, and maybe anybody else that wants to join, we'll, we'll do that. But it's not going to happen until there's only a few games every week because um, like in, at the beginning of the playoffs, there's still going to be too many games for me to have a whole panel of people talking about each and every game. I mean, the video would be an hour and a half long and there's nobody that wants to see me or anybody else talk about a football game for an hour and a half or a series of football games for an hour and a half. So, with that habit, with all of that, all of that taken care of and out of the way, we're going to get into um, the games for the week. Now, uh, this is the final weekend, and there will be games on Saturday. Um, as far as I know for sure, there's going to be two games on Saturday, but there might be three. Who knows? Depends on the NFL, whether they, uh, in their infinite wisdom, want to see um, more games than just two on Saturday or not. But there will be Saturday games, there will be Sunday games. So uh, let's get into those. Uh, the first one you've got on Saturday, January 7th, is uh, scheduled to be the Chiefs and the Raiders. And uh, as you might know about the Raiders situation, they have sent Derek Carr home, or at least he wanted to go home. So he is not playing the rest of the year, and they put in uh, Jared Stidham. And Stidham was awesome in the game that he played. He threw for a lot of yards. He was quite impressive. He couldn't, 
He just couldn't pull out the win for the Raiders, but he was very impressive in the time that he played. But I'm still going to go with the Chiefs. We're still going to take the Chiefs. All of that just to tell you that we're still going to go with the Chiefs. So the next game we have is the um, Titans at the Jaguars. And, uh, you know, if you know, if you follow me and my talking about this stuff, I'm really not a big fan of Rabel, and he doesn't have his starting quarterback. And the second string guy that they have, he doesn't look too very good at all. Meanwhile, the Jaguars are on fire, and they have a chance to go to the playoffs and win their division going to the playoffs. I am going to take the Jaguars. This is their opportunity. We want to see the Jaguars in the playoffs. Might be fun to see that. So I'm going to take the Jaguars in that game. And the next one we've got is the Ravens and the Bengals. This may be the first game on Sunday. Ravens Bengals divisional matchup. A lot of these are divisional matchups. The NFL wanted to do it that way. And I mean, in some ways it was wise, perhaps. Um, the the Ravens still have a chance at the playoffs, and the Bengals are going to the playoffs. I am going to go with the Bengals because we don't know. Jackson may or may not play for the Ravens in that game, but even if he does. You know, he'll have to get the rust out, and the Bengals really have been pretty hot. So I'm going with the Bengals in that game. Um, and not only that, it's in Cincinnati. The next one we've got is the Browns at the Steelers. And the Steelers pulled one out for me last week. <clears throat> they came back. They came back and they won that one. I was quite happy to see that. And I'm going to reward them by picking the Steelers again. So we're going to go with the Steelers to beat the Browns, even though the Browns have Deshaun Watson and he should be hitting his, um, you know, getting into the swing of things right now, but I'm still going to take the uh, Steelers in that game. Next one, we got the Vikes and the Bears, another divisional matchup. And it's my Bears who got embarrassed by the Lions after I thought maybe they were going to beat the Lions. But you know what? I'm having such, you know, the last couple of weeks have been pretty good. The last three weeks have been pretty good. I'm playing with house money, so I'm going to take my Bears to beat the Vikings. The Vikings looked horrible against Green Bay. And who knows? You're likely to get that version of the Vikings in the game against the Bears. <coughs> Next one you have is the uh, Patriots at the Bills. As I mentioned, the Bills with a devastating injury uh, to DeMar Hamlin. Um, I don't know if they're going to make up the game against the Bengals or whether they're going to play it as scheduled on Monday night. And I don't know Depending on his status and what happens, I don't know how that's going to affect the team. But in general, I think whenever you got a game, the players are going to be uh, up for the game and they're going to be up for playing. And I'm in that normal uh, circumstance against a divisional rival in the Patriots. I'm going to go with the Bills. So I would take the Bills to beat the Patriots. And that takes us to the next game, which is the Jets at the Dolphins, another divisional matchup. And I'm just going to go with the Dolphins in this one. I'm going with the Dolphins. I think the Jets have just, I mean, the wheels have come off and everything has fallen apart. The Dolphins may not have Tua playing, and, and I would imagine they won't. But even if they don't, um, I think that... Um, and, and really, it, it depends on the injury, too, because there was an injury to his backup, uh, um, Bridgewater, last week. Um, but still, the Dolphins all around are a better team than the Jets. The Jets have a really good defense, but they their quarterback situation has just deteriorated to, you know, abysmal uh, proportions. So I'm going to go with the uh, – and at this point, they probably just want the best draft pick they can get. I'm going to go with um, the uh, with the Dolphins in that one. 
The next game we have is the Buccaneers at the Falcons. And I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. I mean, I think we have saw last week that um, Brady has uh, started to play better. Um, maybe the team has woken up, woke, got awoke, got woken up. I don't know how you say that. But anyway, um, maybe something woke them up and now they're going to play good football. The Falcons have not been playing good football for a long while this season. They had to barely come back and win last week, twenty to nineteen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Buccaneers. The next one you have is the Panthers at the Saints. The Saints are at home in this one. They have a good defense. They played inspired football last week. I'm going with the Saints to beat the Panthers. <coughs> Um, you know, the Panthers had a chance to, um, keep marching to the playoffs last week and they lost, they blew it. Next one we have is the Texans at the Colts. The Texans are the visiting team here, but I think the Texans are also the better team. They've actually played inspired football at times lately. I think they're, um, they're better than the Colts. I think the Colts situation is just, um, it's untenable right now. And uh, they've got a lot of work to do. The next one we have is the Cardinals at the 49ers. And I'm going to take the 49ers. I mean, nobody should be surprised to buy that. The 49ers are having a very good season, even with right now their third string quarterback, essentially. The Cardinals are not having a very good season at all. <coughs> Next one we have Cowboys at Commanders. Now, against my better judgment, I'm going to take the Cowboys in this one. Uh, but I think the Commanders, the magic has just run out with the Commanders. I mean, they had, you know, Heineke. He was winning games, but he was leaving points out on the field in those wins. It was kind of a house of cards. And, um, you know, I, I I think they won. Maybe they won last week, but still, they look shaky. The Cowboys, if they play, even if they rest some people, <coughs> I think they're, they're still a better team than the Commanders and should win. Next one you have is the Rams at the Seahawks. And this is, you know, the 12th man. It's in Seattle. Seattle has a chance for the playoffs. The Rams do not. So we are going to go with Seattle to beat the Rams. Yeah, get the Rams out of here. <coughs> Next one we have the uh, Giants at the Eagles. Now, the Giants may not be playing for anything, but the players they put on the field are going to be playing to the best of their ability. And um, I don't know if they plan to rest uh, Jones, their quarterback, or their running back, you know, their prize running back there. I forget his name. I, I'm terrible with names. I just didn't, you know. But um, who knows who they're going to rest, who they're not going to rest. Um, and the same thing with the Eagles. Is Jalen Hurts going to play? Is Jalen Hurts not going to play? But even if he doesn't play, um, you know, Minshew has been playing for like two or three weeks now. So I am going to take all of that factored in, passed it into the computer, and it spit out, go with the Eagles. So we're going to take the Eagles in that one. Next one you got is the Chargers at the Broncos. And in this one, I'm going with the Chargers. Let's take the Chargers in that game. The Broncos do look like they're playing better. I think Wilson, Russell Wilson, has started to play more his game, the game that he played, the type of play that he did when he was in Seattle. And I think it's helping, and they're playing better because of it. But it's, it's too little, too late. And I think the Chargers are still a better team, even if, he's playing up to his ability and playing more like he did in Seattle. And then finally you have the lions at the Packers. Again, I'm playing with house money here. 
if the Packers win, they're going to the playoffs. But I'm going to go with the Lions. The Lions, they blew out my uh, my uh, Bears last week. <coughs> they dropped another 41. I mean, they're, they're scoring 40 points like it's going out of style. And um, I think that the magic with the um, with the Packers, I think the magic with the Packers comes to an end this week. So those are my picks. Those are all 16 games. What did you guys think? You like my picks? Give me a thumbs up on the video, whether you like my picks or not. Let me know below in the comments um, what games you differ with me on or agree with me on or... Anything you want to do, talking football, and like I said, we will have the playoff editions, um, you know, just like this, except obviously teams like the Bears and uh, the um, and the uh, Saints and, you know, teams like that, the Cardinals are not going to be mentioned because they're not going to be playing after this week. But that is my Week 18 picks. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.